My research focuses on developing technology to study human brain function. Uh, so that brings in a number of technologies to study the brain and what the brain is actually doing while you're cognitively processing, uh, while you are engaged in tasks or, or receiving uh, uh, sensory inputs from the environment. The current state of the art is really mapping out uh, the regions of the brain that are engaged in performing different tasks. What I'm uh, interested in is extending that beyond uh, mapping into looking at brain dynamics. So I want to know not only what regions are involved, but what is the timing and sequence of those regions of the brain communicating with one another to perform the task. There are technological limits currently in our uh, in, in the spatial resolution, in the temporal resolution, and in the sensitivity to different aspects of brain physiology that's currently available. And I'm looking to move beyond those limitations in my work. One area of, of my interest long term is in uh, neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's disease. I'm also interested in bringing these technologies in to better understand brain uh, physiology and brain cancer. I see my technologies evolving from my lab into the clinical environment and from my lab into research environments where the users of the technology I've developed are no longer engineers, where they don't need to have an, an understanding of the, you know, the underlying you know, electronics and software coding in order to make use of these tools. So I, from the beginning as I'm developing these techniques, I also reach out to the uh, commercial space and try to find partners that I can work with have the, the ability uh, to take these technologies from my lab and to uh, perfect them as a commercial product and make them available back to the research and clinical communities where I uh, aim to have impact. I think the whole brain is an area of exploding understanding right now, being driven by our new technologies and the uh, ability to advance the technology and collaborate with folks who are, who are on the front lines in patient care and on those front lines in terms of advancing our fundamental knowledge of the brain. All here at Dartmouth working together, it's, it's a powerful combination. So I'm, I'm really proud to be part of that, um, part of that enterprise.